This is Flippity.net, and this is essentially a collection of interactive templates that you as the teacher can use to create digital activities for your students, or that you can give students to create their own digital activities, which could be a way of those students demonstrating what they've learned about a particular content or skill in the classroom. A really handy um, set of templates. There's no account required to use these templates. You may need to have a Google account because some of them require you to uh, set up a Google spreadsheet that it can pull information from. But there's no Flippity account to sign into. So for students, you don't have to worry about violating any privacy agreements or anything like that. Um, you can see there's a lot of different templates to choose from. Some of these are meant to be just printed. Some of them are much more interactive. Um, but a lot of different templates that you can use for a lot of different ways. So let's look at a couple just so you can see what the setup is like. You'll notice that for each template, there's a demo button and an instructions button. And so you can try out each template just to see how it would work for students first. And then the instructions will walk you through setting up your own activity. And um, they're all very easy to set up. So let's start with one of my favorites, the group game which is essentially the New York Times connections puzzle. So we'll look at the demo first. You can see it is 16 words that I need to group into um, four groups. And so I'm gonna go with jump, uh, run, yell, and swim. And you can see I was correct with those. I hit that check mark to check. I got that right, it was, the category was verbs. So that's how this works and you could Imagine lots of really cool, um, academically useful ways to use this template to get students thinking uh, outside the box about a particular topic or um, skill. So I'm going to go back and show you the instructions. This one's very simple. You don't need to have a Google spreadsheet for this one. You just plug in information in these fields. These four up top are where your categories go, and then your 16 words go underneath. And you can give it a name and hit generate and it'll give you a link that you can share with students. Again, there's no accounts, so student answers won't be saved. So you won't have data in that way, but this is a great way to get students thinking about certain things and can lead to some really great conversations afterwards. So let's look at another example, one that requires a Google spreadsheet. So I'm gonna use this Flippity Quiz Show, which is essentially Jeopardy. And I'll show you the demo real quick. You can see we have our categories of questions, we have our teams over on the side, and we have our different levels of questions. Each of these is clickable, and when you click on a question, you'll see it pop right up. Um, so if you're doing this in front of class and you have someone from a certain team volunteer an answer, um, let's say they got it wrong, I could hit X and that would deduct the amount of points that that question was worth. And if another team gets it right, it can award that many points. I can click on this square to reveal the answer. And then when I click on it again, it takes me back to the main board. So that's Jeopardy template, very useful um, and especially useful when you see how easy it is to set up. So I'm gonna go back to the instructions here and you'll see I need to make a copy of this Google spreadsheet template. So I'll do that just by clicking on it and it'll force that copy for me. And I'm taken right into a grid that looks pretty familiar. Um, I have my uh, question categories at the top here. So I can go in and change all those to whatever I want them to say. And then I have question and answer for each level. So um, this is really just me going in and replacing the information in all of this. So assuming I have all my questions and answers, this is a pretty easy swap. Um, so once I've done all that and I have my my Jeopardy game set up the way I want. I can go over to this next tab down here where it says get the link. And all I need to do is publish my spreadsheet so that Flippity can use it. So I have to go to file, share, publish to web, and publish, and then grab that link that shows up. So I'll copy that. And go back here, I'll paste the link in this green box and you'll see a Flippity link automatically pops right up. So this is the link that I can share with students. Really, really easy. If I open that up, um, 
I didn't make any changes, so you can't tell that this is the new game, but any changes I would have made would be reflected here. And then I would have my own Jeopardy game for my students to use. Or I could, again, have students do that and have them create their own Jeopardy games for everyone to use. Um, and if you go back to that spreadsheet and make any changes, they will automatically update. They may take a little time to update. You may have to wait like five or 10 minutes for the updates to be reflected, but you don't have to create the game again. You can just change the spreadsheet and those changes will be reflected in that same link. So that's really nice as well. So that's Flippity, a collection of templates for interactive activities that you can create for your students or have your students create.